What's up everybody? 915 Mang here hanging out with you guys today. I've been looking at my tank and I'm thinking about doing a little bit of tinkering here. This is a algae turf scrubber that I have from Santa Monica Filtrations and it's the Rain 4. Um, basically what I'm doing is trying to figure out how I want to install it into my system. I've had it running before prior to my move and uh, it's my tank has been running without it but uh, these things are so beneficial to your system and uh, I'm going to go ahead and add it back. Uh, the reason why it's beneficial is it takes out a lot of heavy, heavy metals. It's a natural filtration and if you have excess food or nutrients in your, your tank it's going to be consumed by this uh, algae turf scrubber. The problem that I have is uh, I'm I was thinking about running a separate pump, but then I was thinking, you know what, I'll just go ahead and tie it into my main uh, return, which is the Ecotech right there. Um, that outlet is, you can tie in a, a barb fitting and just run it off of a second pump, but um, it's three eighths or three quarters, and uh, my return pump is a, a one inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, work something up and tie it into my main um, pump. I went with the purple one inch pipe again and I still had some three quarter purple pipe as well. I had a few fittings that I had to order like that three way um, one inch. I had to get that so I can tie it into my main return and then I had to get a one inch to three quarter uh, reducer so I could plug it into my algae turf scrubber. The thing that I didn't have on the last um, setup was a way to shut off the valve. So I, what I did is I put a ball valve so that way I can close my ball valve and I can safely get my algae turf scrubber off so I can take off the net and clean it. Um, I did have to do some kind of uh, repairs to the screen because uh, you know I just had it, uh, I damaged it from um, use but I was thinking about buying a new one but the good old zip tie came in handy and I was able to uh, do the screen and I'll show you here in a minute. Algae scrubbers they're good because it's just like uh, having macro algae in your sump but uh, man I, for some reason I'm not able to take care of the macro algae. I like the idea of algae turf scrubber there's a whole bunch of different options you don't have to just buy one you can do a DIY waterfall scrubber, which I've tried when, uh, in the past, but this one is, it is a pretty good unit and I do like it. I also gonna go ahead and use it with my protein skimmer. My protein skimmer and the algae turf scrubber are gonna work hand in hand and keep my water in check. You can see all these little zip ties that I had, I just tied it up. The screen itself is pretty expensive, so um, like I said, you can do a bunch of DIY ones, but I, I stayed with the original, just put in some zip ties, zipped it up, cut off the excess, and I'll be ready to uh, rock. I don't know how many of you guys are using algae turf scrubbers, um, but my tank looked really good when I had one on, just because it was naturally taking care of the aquarium, you know, it was taking out whatever heavy metals, I could overfeed my my tank because my algae turf scrubber would just consume all the extra phosphates if I wasn't using the cleanest food out there um, the algae turf scrubber would take it you know they uh, remove ammonia uh, nitrate nitrate phosphate and uh, metals and they also take out some CO2 that's in the water so it's a great thing to have in your system and if you can do a DIY more power to you guys um, but I'm going to go ahead and use this one. It is going to take some some time for it to grow. Uh, I do have um, half of the lights on this off. And then once I get it going, I'll plug in the second um, set of lights on it. It's all built into the hood of this uh, turf scrubber. And uh, it's, a, it's a great little uh, scrubber. Also, instead of having algae grow all over inside of your display tank looking very ugly you have it in a controlled environment you have it growing where it's supposed to be 
where you designated it and that would be inside of a algae turf scrubber um, like i said i'm not good with the macroalgae i know a lot of you guys um, are but uh, for some reason it doesn't grow too well for me um, this is like guaranteed like, successful results it, it does take a minute this like i said i i'm only having uh, one set of lights on this is the plug to the other set and i like to write on the cords and for this one i wrote ats and i'm going to show you what the screen looks like uh, once it gets seated this is uh, going to take a while maybe probably i would guesstimate like a month for it to fully kick in but once you get it going uh, you're golden like everything else it can be as cheap as you want it or as expensive as you want to dump into it you can make your own DIY one. Uh, the theory is basically the same thing. Water goes through, you have enough light, and then um, the algae will start to grow and seed on your plant. This is from an old video, and as you can see, uh, that's what it looks like. Um, all that different color right there is nutrients being cons consumed by the waterfall, and you know, it's instead of it being in your display tank, it's right here on the screen. So they are definitely beneficial. Um, you can reuse the uh, algae. You can put it in there in your tank for some of the tanks to eat. And uh, it's also a good thing because it's cheaper in the long run because you won't have to be buying like GFO and doing weekly water changes or, or anything like that. It can prolong the uh, water changes, which most of us hate to do. If you're doing carbon dosing, I wouldn't recommend running an algae turf scrubber. They're going to be fighting for the same nutrients uh, that are used to feed. So I wouldn't recommend you doing carbon dosing if you're still going to run algae turf scrubber. In fact, I would just get rid of the carbon dosing and just go with the algae turf scrubber. This is some video of, from my old tank, what it looked like. And uh, as you can see, this screen is not fully seated it will totally get seated once you keep running it but um i just wanted to show you so you can kind of see what's going on with the reef tank like i said i'm going to be running this in conjunction with the protein skimmer and the algae turf scrubber um, some people can do the all natural get rid of the protein skimmer but i think most tanks are going to benefit if you have both of these running in your tank um, a good thing about a turf scrubber is compared to in a refugium, the scrubber, you can throw away, you know, the bad stuff every week. And in a refugium, you're going to have detritus and things like that stuck in the uh, refugium. So let me know what you guys think. I hope you guys follow along, hit that like and subscribe, and we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Have a good one.